once again for and welcome the main man himself tonight. The owner of the establishment, Mr. Les Dow, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause. Good evening everybody, you have to bear with me, I'm not very good at this, but I want to do it right tonight. It's a real special night for me, and hopefully for everybody else here. It's going to be a great night. I'd like to apologise if, if your seats aren't the right thing. It's very hard to get the seats and organise, we've taken two tables down, so hopefully you'll make do with what you've got. And if you, you can always swap around with your pals if you haven't got enough seats. A uh, couple of things, uh, there's raffles throughout the hat through plays, Jimmy, I know you all have the tickets, so they'll be drawn. Uh, there's raffle prizes, there's also a special auction prize of a set of snooker balls that are all autographed by all the top players. There's three balls that aren't autographed. Jimmy's going to sign one tonight, and the other two, whoever buys them in the auction, I'll get Ronnie O'Sullivan or Steve Davis. There's only a couple of those names that are missing, I'll get them to sign for you, not a problem. Uh, like I say, it's going to be a great night, and I'd like to thank John Cunningham of JCNA Associates Limited, the solicitors, John there. To help, help make this night a success. Very nice to talk to you in the evening. Uh, uh, so, so, we're going to have a donation to help the heroes from the night's proceeds. Uh, we've got ref, referee Frank Bradley refing. We've got a special frame by Dave Jones, who's done a lot for the Southport Snooker. I'd like to thank Dave, so he'll be doing one frame. Well, Obviously, your Quinny's, uh, Quinny's the MC. We all know Quinny. There you go. I'm getting to the end of this now, but obviously the main reason we're here is to see what one of the greatest players the game's ever produced, and that for me is Jimmy White, winner of 23 professional titles. He's one of the greatest characters of the game. He's also been one of the best players. He's been unlucky a few times, as we know, but one thing about Jimmy that leaves him different, he stands out from the rest of all the players, is he loses the same way as he wins. You wouldn't know. He's the best sportsman in any sport. So without any further ado, I'll hand you over to Trevor Ford. Have a great evening and thanks very much for coming. Thank you. Let's have ladies and gents give a big round of applause and as I said, the night will be able to be the same without your MC for the evening. Can you please put your MC on for Dave, the mighty quiet! Les? Lad? Who's Lad? Is you know us, Les? Is he unrecognisable now? Isn't he? He's like a cocktail stick now. Oh, we'd actually miss you now, Les, all of you. We do. No, you look wonderful, Les, and it's a credit to you. As the club is, and obviously as the turnout is, and as tonight's going to be. You know what I mean? Before I just do a couple of introductions, bring people on, uh, take the piss. We're getting technical now, as you can see, we're on an iPad. Trevor's still on a pen and pad. Over there. Can't even get this working, but we know what we've got to do. We have to introduce some special people, but I'm never going to a proper mention. So tonight, with his own piece of music, give a big round of applause from June FM doing all the music tonight. Tiny Trevor Ford, come on. Come on, Trevor, come on. Come on, you tosser, come on. All right, come on. You give me a fiver to do that. Can you give me a fiver to do that. Our next person, obviously, we've done, Trevor. And I have to say as well, he's, uh, he's a little bit upset to her because he was having sex with his, uh, with his girlfriend last night and she said to me, you're the biggest I've ever had. And I told him, ditto isn't the answer, Trev. <laughs> I'll not do that one again. Frank will do that one. Our next person in here tonight, well, it's the scorers, but we're going to give them a mention because they're not about yet. Snake and uh, Jamie Ray, they're going to be doing the, the uh, scoring tonight. Our next person, ladies and gentlemen, let's put a hand together. I've got a few words to say about him. Frank Bradley, our referee. Bit of music for Frank, Chef. Very good, Chef. Is that Frank's music? That's not Frank's music, Chef. Frank's music? No. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it starts for him. I get him every year. Doesn't matter. Are you okay, Frank? Are you ready for him? I'm ready. Could be your last year, eh? <laughs> I said that to one referee, that was the end of him, it again. No, he's a great referee, Frank, as long as you're not too close to him and don't listen to him. Are you still trying his music, Trev? There's his music. Do you see how it works now? You won't be here next year, Frank, you see. Put a bit of this music. You're a dickhead, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, it's being filmed and everything, this time. 
Frank Bradley, our referee, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely wonderful. You know what we need tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Trevor uh, brought Les on, Les told you all about it. 23 professional titles, six-time World Sugar finalist, he survived the jungle, and he's the people's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Bit of music, Trevor. For the whirlwind, Jimmy! This is a little bit like the jungle, isn't it? Yeah. I've, been, I've been watching, been watching Jim leave the jungle thing. Yeah. Freddy Star was good. We turn off now, Jeff. Christ's sake. Two pound a week, boots around. Now I've been watching it, there's a new challenge tonight. Uh, there's a kangaroo has got to eat one of Fatima Whitbread's bollocks. That should be good if you videoed it. Should be good that if you videoed it. Okay, we'll get on with it. That's what Jimmy's here for. Jimmy is a living legend, as we know. We've all watched him for years, and he's now here to, to play some of you guys that have, I don't know, played out of uh, in the clubs. Jimmy's first appointment. Appointment? Not appointment, appointment, Jimmy. A young man that works at Ashworth Hospital. But now, if you don't know about that, it's a nut house, Jim. It's basically, it's a mental hospital there. The, uh, I believe the, the, the knitting needle nutter who stabs six people up the arse, he's locked up there. The police think he's following some sort of pattern. <laughs> Is this working, Trev? <laughs> Is he a Terry? Come on, let's have a round of applause for Terry. Come on, he's got his tune ready and everything. Ah, <laughs> oh, good old Terry. I fall to pieces.